We're the Salians, of course. We love Maddie Maddox. We're the Salians, of course. We love Maddie Maddox. Wow, grabe. <laughs> We're the Salians. Well, we're going to be here. Ano rin siya ka tura mo ha? 1.617 Ay hala, almost perfect uh, What? <laughs> We're Lasalia Of course, we know about Fibonacci numbers Ano yan? Of course, kabaluta ya <laughs> Welcome to Mathematical Where we technical about mathematics Are this familiar to you? Yes, you are right Ian Stewart wrote a book entitled Nature's Numbers and in chapter 9 he chuckled about drops, dynamics, and daisies. Do you want to know more? The concept of simplicity is no longer present if we are now understanding the details of everything around us. We might be used to seeing a drop of water in this lifetime, enjoying the purring rain, daily shower, watching the faucet, and other sources of drops. And we might think it is even in clear drop shape. This might be a simple, but if we stop, look at it details and think, why it's not actually a teardrop shaped drop of water, then the complexity takes place and makes us wonder more. We are not trying to see and understand what is beyond our eyes, and it is becoming complicated. So first of all, if you ever wonder what a Fibonacci is, it is a series of numbers in which each number or Fibonacci number is the sum of the two preceding numbers. The simplest is a series of 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so forth. The Fibonacci sequence works in nature too, as a corresponding ratio that reflects various patterns in nature. Think that the nearly spiral of a nautilus shell and the intimidating swirl of a hurricane. And little did you know that it is also apparent in the reproduction of rabbits. This sequence found in discovery by Leonardo Fibonacci has been used in defining such things considered perfect and beautiful. The most common example of this sequence is the petals of flowers. This isn't the only place where we can find Fibonacci sequence, but mostly among objects that depict spirals and patterns. The golden ratio is also known as the golden number, golden proportion, divide proportion. And this is a ratio between two numbers that equals approximately 1.618. Usually written as a big letter P, is strongly associated with the Fibonacci sequence. A series of numbers where each number is added to the last. And now, understanding the Fibonacci sequence, let's go back to nature. Can you see the Fibonacci pattern and the its golden ratio? We hope that you learned something and thank you for watching Mathematical, a discourse of the Nickel about mathematics. So, see you guys soon!